Hey. It's the exit. And lots of goodies. Let's get it. Where did the goodies go? It's just an empty corridor. Well, I guess we can just leave then. Oh. <laughs> That's one way of using a teleporter silently, where a player should not even be aware that they're teleported and suddenly stuff is just gone. Or something. Yeah, it's just a teleporter with... Or teleport silently. It's under teleporter. We saw it before in the teleport video. With a new tag and our friend. The... Um, Teleport target or, or destination. I think it worked rather nicely. Um, that was one thing, though. Know? Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, I just copied this corridor there and made a few changes. One of them was, of course, the exit. Now, the exit can be... Uh, well, in the main games there are us usually switches. But uh, then you sort of start in front of a door in the next map. Which uh, feels to me like... Uh, you enter the door of some sort. The switches are probably uh, teleporters or something. I just feel like if you start at the door, you should uh, end that one. So, uh, so there. Uh, yeah, the end is a line. It could be a switch or a door. That's really up to you. And if we stop working in uh, things mode, that would be nice too. Yeah, it's uh, simply um, end level. I chose to use end game and normal. Then you just get shunted to the next level. If it's not the end level, I guess. And end secret will send you to the f a secret level or, mo or more if that's the case and I chose to use one player bumps instead of one player press e use because just to uh, well just to uh, show you can use other methods to start a thing so yeah that's one way you can uh, play with uh, teleporters. So that's the end for my first intermission. So I'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye guys.